In this video, we like to show a few basic troubleshooting methods for the CardioVid FT1. In this case, my complaint is that my unit is not transmitting the reports over to the server. So one of the first things I'd want to do is verify the connection of my unit. If you notice this little icon here, it's indicating that there's an X. What that means is that it's not connected, actually. It's not connected to the Wi-Fi network or the server. So let's go ahead and take a look at those settings. We're going to go ahead and access them, of course, by pressing the main menu icon. We're going to select this little gear here down at the bottom on the left side. And we're going to go ahead and access our connectivity settings. First thing I want to do is just check out my Wi-Fi network. Is it connected properly? Well, I actually don't have a Wi-Fi network selected. So what we're going to do is click on the drop down button, select your desired Wi-Fi network. Okay, please be mindful that the Wi-Fi network must also be the one that your uh, server is actually connected to as well. So once selecting your desired Wi-Fi network, you're going to move on to security. Ensure that your password inserted here is actually correct. And we're going to select apply. Give it a couple seconds. If you notice here, we no longer have an X. We have now a Wi-Fi icon. OK, so what that indicates is that you are now connected to your Wi-Fi network. All right, so let's go ahead. We're still getting complaints that it's still not transmitting over. All right, but we have our Wi-Fi settings correct. Let's see what else we can look into. Well, let's go into our EMR integration settings. Now, here, again, we have to make sure that uh, the, your IP address of the server is properly inserted here. And you can test the connection by pressing test connection. In this case, my connection has failed. Now I have to see what's possibly causing this issue. Be sure to verify that the IP address is correct. There are times where the IP address does change. So again, ensure your IP address is correct. So we have here 192.168.0.6. Wow, I'm missing a number. Gonna go ahead and edit my IP address to the correct one. And here I'm missing a digit. I'm missing seven. Now I have properly entered my IP address, okay? Press test connection. And you have now successfully connected to the server. Another way you can verify is by taking a look at your Wi-Fi icon once again, and it is now in green, indicating that you are connected to both Wi-Fi network and the server. This completes our demonstration. If you guys have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to Schiller Americas or to your local distributor.